So this is my telescope, the Skywatcher 150P. It's a very good telescope for, uh, it's a manual telescope. It's great for planets, the moon and stars. You won't be able to track the sky though. So, technically you cannot do it astrophotography. You can maybe catch uh, the Orion Nebula by short exposures, but real astrophotography you can't. Really sure, you can, there's a way that you can stack a bunch of exposures, 0 0.5 seconds or something like that, but it's, uh, it's very intensive and huh? very difficult sometimes, but it can be done. Is there a pinion focuser? Very smooth. It is a 120 millimeter, 1200 focal length, and uh, 6 inches aperture. It has parabolic optics, which are the best. It's a Dobsonian, that's, that's mean that's. Periodically it needs collimation, but it's not a bit so big of a deal. I will do videos about it to help you. If you ever need to do the collimation, if you bump it around or stuff like that, you will need to do collimation often. Maybe go to dark skies or uh, travel with the telescope. Because the mirror is not fast and secured. It does have a slight move to it so if you bump it around you you will move the mirrors and you will need to adjust them with the guide scope and uh, it, it comes with two eyepieces 25 millimeter and 10 millimeter it will give you the 25 millimeter will give you 48 times zoom magnification and the 10 millimeter will give you 1 to 0 times magnification Personally, for the moon, I like 48 times magnification. It does bring a lot of detail to the moon. It's the full moon will uh, will appear in its uh, in its entirety in the eyepiece. And you you can do photography of uh, of the moon and planets with the mobile. So you kind of can do astrophotography with it, both for planets and the moon. These are the eyepieces it comes with. Into 25, just screw them on like that. Then fasten these uh, screws, and uh, when you're looking at the moon or planet, adjust the focus till it's, uh, it's focused well. The lenses need cleaning sometimes, so uh, I will do a video in the future how to clean the lenses without damaging them. And basically that is it, you know, it's, uh, it's great, a great little scope, I use it a lot, there's uh, a lot of videos on my channel about it, you can watch them out, like planets and the moon I've done a lot, it's just my mobile phone and they are great, huh? and you can process them with, uh, with softwares that I will... Uh, the videos later in the uh, in the channel as well and that's it for today give me a, a like uh, subscribe to my channel I would love to have, have uh, more subscribers to share my knowledge and uh, the astrophotography journey and thank you very much see you